Hi, my name is John Hartman from Durango Silver Company, and we're going to do a series of how to make jewelry for you guys. And we're going to start today by how to put a bezel around the stone. And um, the type of stone that we use here are cabochons, and they, you can get cabochons at any gem show, or you can buy turquoise cabochons even from us on Durango Silver and, and uh, on the Instagram as well. Uh, some of the things that we use in doing this is uh, a soldering board. This is a solderite board that you can get from Rio Grande. If you're having a hard time with heating up, this, this will work really good. But this is a charcoal block in, in the event that you're having a hard time uh, soldering. This will, your silver will heat up real even and quick on a charcoal block, but they are expensive. I use a solderite block. Um, we use, uh, all you need is a pair of shears, you can get those at Rio, a nice jeweler's flat file jeweler for filing your, your bezel, uh, a pair of tweezers, um, and um, I like these Hurons, um, uh, blue Hurons, they're uh, uh, titanium and so solder won't stick to them. Uh, your bezel wire, there's multiple types of bezel wire, this is a serrated wire, see the serrated and here's a gallery wire and this is standard 1 8 inch bezel wire and this is 26 gauge thick I don't recommend getting 28 or 30 you'll just burn it up or it'll crumble after you get your piece of jewelry made um, okay solder um, solder comes in several different formats one is sheet and um, uh, uh, the, and, and you can also get it pre-cut, but I like cutting it myself because I can, you know, get as much solder as, as I want to use on it. I like cutting wide slits this way on your sheet so they don't curl all up on you. You can also get use wire solder, and this is what I use. I use wire solder. Um, it's very easy for me. And um, a little tip here. Uh, there's there's different uh, uh, heat levels of solder, and it's based upon the the amount of uh, percentage of silver that's in the in the solder. Sixty five percent is an easy flow, and you want to use that when you're soldering all your your bezels on sheets and so on and so forth. However, when you're soldering bezel, uh, you want to have a higher melt point so the solder does not melt out of your bezel when you're soldering it to a table, a, a silver table, okay, or when you're soldering design or what have you. So I use 75% uh, um, so, uh, silver solder. Uh, here I've got 20, this is 20 gauge, 70%, which is fine too, but uh, if, you can, if you can use 75, use it, you'll be glad you did. Your bezels will stay together real nice. Okay, so um, I use, uh, many people use like a flat table. This is a piece of granite. Um, I have a little, uh, um, it's a crystal, flat crystal plate. Put my stone on there. And one thing about stones, on a, on a, on a cabochon, you want a, the, them to be cut with an angle on the side. So when you put your bezel around, lock your bezel around your stone after your piece of, jewelry is finished and ready to mount the stone you want the, the side of the bezel to ha be at an angle so when you push your bezel up against the sides it'll lock the bezel lock the stone in it won't be able to come out so always make sure the stones that you buy have an angle on the side now I'd put I'm just going to use a standard 1 8 inch bezel to begin with okay and what I do here is I by eyeball I cut it flat you can go ahead if you want to, it's really not necessary, but if you want to, just file it nice and flat. And then and then take it, hold your stone, and with your fingernail, hold the bezel in place and bend it around the stone. Just very simple. Bezel it, bend it around the stone. Okay? Now, if you want to get a nice fit, take the end of your tweezers and push it around the stone, all around the stone, to get the curve of the stone. Okay, 
So after after getting the bezel to fit fairly 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 good around the stone, pull the bezel tight and mark it with your fingernail where it meets, where it comes together. Okay? Pull the bezel up. If you need glasses, get glasses. And you'll see on here, I'm marking it with my finger, but there's also, from me pushing it up against the other bezel, there's also another line on there. And so I just simply cut the bezel, push the bezel up against the other one, and cut it straight. Okay. And then refit the bezel. See how it fits. Okay, see? So look at I got a little overlap on mine. Now you don't want your bezels too tight, uh, leaving a little bit of a, some, some room so uh, you, your stone will fit down easy once it's in the piece of jewelry. Okay, so leave about maybe a 32nd of an inch to a 64th of an inch extra. Okay, so I'm going to cut this just a little bit shorter. And now if you're, if you're, if you've cut it at crooked or something, right now is when you're going to see it, and you can correct that right now. Okay, so now I got the bezel, so it fits. Oh, maybe maybe it's still a little bit too going to be a little bit loose. So take your time here, no hurry. Cut your cut your bezel. Like I said, a 64th to a 32nd of an inch overlap, okay? Once you cut your bezel, set your stone away from you and keep it way away from you keep it because there's going to be fire, okay? Take a pair of square nose pliers. I like these little, the little ones. All right, so once your bezel is uh, fit around your stone nicely, you, you can file both edges if you want. It's really not necessary. If you've got a good pair of shears, jeweler shears, um, it's really, uh, okay, so, so then uh, uh, you, you flatten it with your pliers, okay, and then you push the seam together. A little bit past, and then you bring it back so it fits really nicely. And then you use your flat nose pliers again Line it all up and see from a side angle you want the bezel to line up you don't want one side higher than the other okay now you take it turn it upside down put it on your pad and I like Batterns self pickling flux you put a little bit of flux on your bezel there like so and then for a torch I like using a Presto light, and this is acetylene. You could, uh, some people use propane in, in extreme conditions, but uh, acetylene is the best. And a Presto light, it takes oxygen in here, and you have a flame out here. This acetylene. I like having a nice starter, and I adjust my flame about right here fairly low okay now I'm gonna in my case here I'm gonna back up a little bit so for beginners we're just gonna use sheet solder and I'm gonna cut a little piece of sheet solder put it on my pad right there that's about a 30 second by well about a, yeah about a 30 second by a 30 second of an inch small you don't need a lot pick it up with my tweezers and put it right on top of the seam just like that okay for my torch I'm gonna come up against the bezel slowly because that flux is gonna heat up it's going to have a tendency, and this is why I don't like using sheet, to move your solder. Okay, and then and then just bring your bring your torch like this, and slowly heat your bezel up both sides. Okay, if it if it tends to go to one direction, heat up the other side more. Silver solder follows the heat. 
Okay, so there we go. It's soldered. Okay. It takes a little bit of practice, but just go slow and uh, take your time and, and it'll be just fine. Don't be scared of it. Uh, bezel wire is reasonably cheap. And uh, so once we do that, have your uh, water, some, some water. Always have water around when you're soldering. When you, anytime you have fire, have water. Okay, so then we're going to just fit this back over this stone. And then we're going to take your tweezers again. And you're going to go around and around your stone until that bezel fits it just right. Some people like to find the seam on the side of the bezel and just take your flat file and just gently file it. So if there's any kind of a, of a difference in the level of the silver, you've just filed it off nicely. Okay? You can also use your file to go around your stone. need no special tools for this okay and there you go bezel around a stone I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned something and practice makes perfect um, put a few bezels around stones uh, couple things to look for is make sure try to try to get your stones the thickness the right thickness that you want uh, when you buy your stones so they set down in the bezel nicely come up to the, uh, the bezel comes up the side at, at the level you you prefer uh, it, later on we'll talk about how to raise and lower stones and settings and stuff like that for setting the stones so uh, good luck and uh, stay tuned check back because we'll we're gonna make a bunch more videos for you how to do all kinds of stuff